Americans with Disabilities Act into law. The ADA is designed to protect and guarantee access for all people with disabilities. Starting tomorrow, all businesses and public places must comply with the ADA. It's taken that long to kick in after the grace period. There's a rally to celebrate the ADA. It's tomorrow in the Rock Island District. And back with us in the Quad Cities is actor-comedian Henry Holden, back to, uh, to lead us all in this great rally. How you been, Henry? It's a pleasure being here again. Yeah. And also, I'd like to give the uh, Quad City people, everybody around here, yesterday I participated participated in the New York City uh, ADA rally and mm -hmm. I was marching with uh, uh, Mayor Rudy Giuliani and he sends his regards to everybody. Yeah, see, and now you're here. You're That's here with here. us. Right. To tell us what these rallies mean, to, should mean for all of us. Well, what, what it, it means, what we're showing the American public, that we want to be included. The ADA represents our civil rights. And as a group of individuals, there are over 43 million people with some sort of disability in this country. Mm -hmm. And all we're asking is to be included in the American society. To get, uh, you know, you don't have to give us anything, but how about, again, I keep saying the, the word inclusion. Include us, include us. Mm -hmm. It's unfortunate that you have to have laws to, to include people with, with disabilities. And I, I think uh, uh, people who are going to, who are in positions to give jobs, they should look at uh, they should look at people with disabilities. Suppose someone in their uh, household becomes disabled, wouldn't want wouldn't they want that individual to participate in the job force? And suppose they themselves have a disability, mm -hmm. they should also want to be included. But it's, sometimes it's hard to think about those things until it hits home. And it's too bad that we have to wait for that. Well, it's we shouldn't have to. No, no, it's unfortunate. And as I was stressing last time I was on the TV show, that the mass media really uh, sets the tone of how you're going to view people with disabilities. Um, as an example, in, in the print media, there was only one newspaper in the, in the New York area that covered the rally. Just, just had a picture. No articles, nothing. Really? Uh, as I mentioned to you uh, last time, in this uh, last year's upcoming season, there was not one character with a disability in any primetime shows on an ongoing basis. Mm -hmm. The same is going to be happening again in this upcoming season. Uh, last week there was an article in Business Week, and, it, and in it it said that the um, people with disabilities represent a buying power of over seven hundred billion dollars. So I think uh, the people out there should look at us as a buying force, as an integral part of society. Mm -hmm. And again, all we want to do is be included. Well, you mentioned the uh, the TV shows, and you're an actor. Have you been auditioning recently for any parts? Well, uh, my main emphasis right now happens to be uh, traveling around the country, lecturing uh, at colleges in different areas. Mm -hmm. uh, again, if they're not utilizing people with disabilities in ongoing roles, then, then I'm being limited as well. Mm -hmm. uh, and, and, I, I, and the joke is, if you want to get an Oscar, you play somebody with a disability. Yeah. But what has to happen to the American psyche is that if you're seeing a show, movie, TV show, whatnot, and you're not seeing somebody with a disability on the show, then something has to ring up here and saying something is a matter with this picture. Mm -hmm. And until uh, there's a study from the University of Pennsylvania, uh, Annenberg School of Communication, and in their study, they said only 1.5% of the time the American public is seeing people with disabilities. Now, television is on an average of seven hours a day. That's where we're getting our images about disability. Are you, um, are you disappointed at all in the ADA? Is it going the way you, you think it should? Well, I'm not disappointed in ADA. If there's anything to, to be disappointed, it is to be disappointed about people in positions of hiring individuals. I mean, that's the disappointment. Mm -hmm. uh, the ADA is just a stepping stone. It's not a, a, a wherewithal for everything. Mm -hmm. It just says ADA is recognizing that there are people with disabilities out there, and they should be part of society. Mm -hmm. Well, I want to talk about the rally tomorrow, then, uh, to celebrate this. It's going on in the Rock Island District. That's correct. And uh, you, uh, you get up and you get the crowd all fired up about this, don't you, Henry? Yes, I do. Uh, um, I, it, it's important. It's a celebration. Uh, it's about time that, you know, here we have. We have people with disabilities and say, we're proud of who we are. And that's what it's about. We are proud of who we are. And everybody, whether you have a disability or not, you should be proud of, of having people like us as part of society. And this is a, a T-shirt given to you by the, uh, Illinois, the move. Illinois Department of Rehabilitation, um, Tom Lowry. That's great. I, I love that. Do you have a lot of these available? Maybe they'll be out at the rally tomorrow? What do you I think? believe so. I have one. And you have one uh, on? I'll bring this in. I'll give it away. And please remember what Henry always tells us. Attitudes are the real disability. Correct? That's yes. correct. Thank you, Henry. Yeah, good job.